Ah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. So Martin is an aerospace engineer from Createc uh, Instruments. Uh, he have worked in satellite projects like PWSAT, Bright PL1, Bright PL2, SAT AIS PL, YES2, and the Solar Orbiter. He is the author of the concept Hypersat Satellite Platform, and now he is an engineer in the Hypersat team. So, welcome, Martin. <laughs> I think the microphone is not working. To creating this presentation here. Thunderstorm, etc. Okay, <laughs> welcome again, everybody. Uh, it's glad to meet you, everybody here. Uh, and today I would like to talk about the, the new satellite standard. Uh, I would like that you should think about this. That maybe, maybe, I this is something where the CubeSat project can go in the future. Uh, where is the position? Uh, position of the hypersat is for people who who use the cubesats and they thinking that cubesats are too small for them, so they want to something bigger, uh, maybe not as big like this SSTL uh, 150 platform, uh, but maybe for low cost. Uh, and we are talking about the satellite, which uh, the mass of this is something like uh, up to 60 kilograms, is scalable, power is something 50 uh, watts, uh, 50 megabits, uh, communication system, ILCS, everything on board, and everything will be on open hardware software uh, licenses. Uh, uh, this platform is designed by two companies. Uh, first is the uh, my own company is Kyotech Instruments, uh, probably is the biggest uh, space company in the Poland. And the other is the uh, Space Research Center, is the scientific institute uh, where I work before I work in the Kyotech from something like seven years. And probably is the biggest scientific, inst uh, scientific institute in Poland who producing the components who fly uh, in space around the Earth or around the um, Mars and other other projects, uh, and this platform, this platform has everything. Uh, it's the, there is the communication system, uh, power system, onboard computer, OCS, uh, and missing control software. And for people uh, who just want to join to this platform, uh, there is something which we are call uh, PBA. This is prototype bus adapter. This is just the very simple board uh, for uh, implement, connect to this platform, uh, some uh, uh, own instrument or something like that. And for people who just, for like you, you have the, the board uh, in the CubeSat standard, you, we, we have on the board something like the one U CubeSat, which will be connected to our uh, bus, which we are called the HyperSat uh, Data Network. Uh, this is like, the structure looks. 
Uh, this is just the, in the middle, so because the structure can be scalable, uh, something from one, one hyperstat unit. This is the 35 to 35 to 10 centimeters, and this 10 centimeters can grow up up to 60 uh, centimeters. Uh, if you look inside, there's the rack for the uh, space VPX uh, uh, boards. Here you see the example of it. Uh, and uh, if something is too big for, for, for the standard, there's the uh, shelf when we just mount other elements like the, uh, sorry, uh, like, the, uh, like the, for example, batteries, uh, reaction with, uh, or for example, this plate is just for this one new uh, CubeSat uh, adapter. Uh, this satellite will be not use the PPOT, uh, like the CubeSat, because uh, PPOT are heavy. Uh, we will use something that we call uh, Marmar Camp, and we have the team who just designed this specially for, for us. This Marmar Camp will be compatible with several uh, rocket systems, uh, like here to name uh, ISPA. Uh, and the base, base ground of the satellite, base of uh, our research, maybe your instruments, uh, because we just read several problem, uh, papers about different instruments to just check what people need uh, from the platform. Because you know, the very important thing that if you are thinking about satellite, the reason why we are going to the space is not the satellite, it's the instrument. We are flying to space to because we want to send instruments. And the platform is everything just for control instrument, powering, communication, then, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, I try to thinking how to measure the complication of these instruments or uh, how, how, it's, uh, how it's expensive, these instruments. And probably for me, uh, the best uh, measurement is just the mass of these instruments. So uh, this platform is designed uh, for the mass up to, uh, up to 50 kilograms. Uh, and I want to show you a few slides, uh, which show you how this instruments in this class looks like. Uh, this first class, uh, the first slide, it shows you that uh, the size of this instruments. On this here, you see the if you, you're thinking about the strings like the cubic, this is one of the, of, the, of the edge of the cubic size. And if somebody look correctly, you see that this approximation is wrong. It should be rather linear than, than something like that. Uh, so maximal size for, 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 for our satellite is something like 25 kilograms. So theoretically, we can just bring bigger, bigger instruments that we design. About the power. Uh, if you're looking for the power for the instruments, uh, the power for the biggest, 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 biggest satellite, the biggest instrument, is something like uh, 30, 40, 50 watts per instrument. And if you just put the solar cells on, uh, on CubeSat like this, uh, or the satellite like this, uh, this is not enough. This is not enough, you need more solar cells, so we're just creating this is the, the, the simulation from, I don't know, two weeks ago. We just add additional solar cells uh, just for powering the system. And I think that this is very small missions to fly without additional solar cells. Uh, next subject is the Airflink. Airflink, uh, we want to design this Airflink especially for the satellite, thinking about the 50 uh, megabits for communication uh, when the satellite is, uh, can set uh, direction of the antenna to the ground station in omnidirectional or something like megabits. But we have the problem we find the team who just can design for, for, for us. And uh, finally, we probably will use the, um, the Syrinx models just for the CubeSat like this and uh, the parameter you see here. Uh, about storage, storage is uh, completely Differential or differential 
systems, so we plan just put something average, uh, so it means it's some 16 gigabytes per gigabytes uh, for, for our satellite. If somebody needs more, just we can just add uh, some additional uh, card for this. IOC is accuracy. Uh, as you see, accuracy uh, doesn't care, doesn't change from the from the size of the satellite or this instrument. Uh, for CubeSat, there is very small, and then it's something average. It depends on the, the missions. Our goal is something here, so we want to pass uh, minimals for for all our, uh, instruments which are found. Uh, if we are talking about the bus, uh, normally on the CubeSat we use something like the CAN or Serial or something like that. Uh, we want to use something faster, so we plan to use the um, uh, something what we call space wire, uh, but this is expensive. This is expensive because it uses a lot of power. So finally, we just probably mix them. Uh, this is the space power with connection with the CAN. Uh, so uh, it will be, uh, as I told you, that uh, this is the space VPX standard. We on board we have two, uh, two this uh, space wire connections. Uh, you can just watch this uh, model. Uh, this is our prototype of this board. Uh, all of this board like this uh, will be connected uh, uh, on the background by this uh, connector uh, board. And you can just put your payload and uh, other modules in different places in this rack uh, just for changing the, com uh, the configuration. Uh, for people who are not happy with using this some complicated system, we have uh, uh, we, we have something which we call a network interface card adapter. This is uh, especially for, uh, this is designed just how to uh, connect uh, this complicated interface to something simpler, uh, like the serial UART LVDS. Uh, and uh, at the end, uh, we just do some of the measurement, how much power this system use. Uh, um, if we are uh, if we are checking this, uh, if we use the space wire, uh, we need for the bus something like three watts, so it's a little too big. If you want to just, uh, if you needn't so fast communication, you can use a CAN interface. Then uh, you 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 save something like half of the power uh, in this situation. And here, this is the board what we are show you. Uh, this, this board just I sent two days ago with the Lufthansa uh, in the vibration test, uh, you know, in the flight. Uh, <laughs> uh, please careful about this because we lost some of the screw there. Uh, <laughs> uh, but on this board, we just te testing how much power this system uses. Uh, here we have uh, this, this, this element for, 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 this, um, for this IP core. Okay, I just finished. And uh, there's some of the DC to DC converters which we are just testing how effic efficiency it works. And when I just push my engineer, show me the results, how it works, he show me the screen like this. So it's margin, it's alive. <laughs> uh, it generates some of the data. We see that one interface getting something like half of the watts. Uh, so it's, it's something what we expect. Uh, and here we uh, see some of the um, efficiency of our DC DC, DC converters is something about uh, 70 to 80 uh, percent. Uh, and this is what I want to show you. This is probably the first mission which we are planned to use this platform. This will be the astronomical mission with uh, this, all of this uh, component. And this is how the satellite looks. Uh, and if you remember the previous presentation, this is the 3D printed two. <laughs> this is not really satellite, but it works. Uh, so finally, uh, this is very important. Uh, it can be something what uh, what the, the CubeSat 
change to, to, to bigger mission. So this platform will be open. We plan to publish any documentation in two years from now. Uh, this platform will be focused on just cheap in components, etc. Uh, this platform will focus on uh, uh, fast sense to space. We are thinking about something like uh, six months from design to send to space. Uh, this platform promises uh, faster communication, faster bus, etc., etc., and it will be open just for you. And if somebody just want to join to this team uh, or this, this platform or just want to watch the documentation, just call to me and I send you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, questions? This guy. Hi, um, I was curious uh, about the uh, deployment uh, mechanism or the deployment ring that you were contemplating. Um, you said that you were uh, thinking about um, building a proprietary mechanism for, uh, for deployment of the hypersat. Okay. Um, I'm just curious if there's, if, what, what drove you to that or if there's anything standard that you might, uh, you might use or that you had to, to pass up. Uh, there's, there's the, standard uh, Marman clamps, which you just buy, uh, they are not cheap. Uh, so this is why we are thinking about build by mm, own. We, we have the team who are just working on this. And uh, we want to create something like that uh, half of them will be designed to different rockets and rest, it will be uh, compatible with all of the satellites. So, if you build your satellite, it will be just easy to find the rocket for you because rockets will be have the other part of this in, right. of, of these instruments. Thank you. Over there. So um, with such a bigger uh, satellite, you usually want to go further into space. So what you do about radiation hardening when using these commercial components? Uh, this, <coughs> it's based on the idea from the CubeSat. Uh, we want to send to space just commercial components. Uh, the best is if this component has some of the history in the space uh, and this history show that it works. <coughs> this is important. <laughs> not just that it's broken in space. Uh, but still, I believe it's much more important to fast sending something to space uh, and show that it's working than uh, just build a very long term mission. Uh, it means that when we are designing this platform, we are thinking uh, about the, mm, the startup. Uh, you know, that the startup just getting the money from the venture capitals. You have $10 million, show me your demonstrator in one year. And this demonstrator can work one week, show me that it works. Uh, and they haven't the platform just to do it because it's, uh, the bigger platforms are much more expensive. Small platforms like CubeSat are too small for them. Uh, building own platform, you need something like two, maybe three years for this, and this is a very, very good solution. Just connect this kind of, uh, this element. Maybe you pay a little more for this some simple simple uh, solution, uh, but you can show in one year for your investors uh, working satellite in the space. Okay, thank you. This is Marcin, he asked a lot of questions. You can, you can take revenge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a lot matter of uh, iterating, right? You said you want to send it to space because you learn so much when you send to space also. So uh, I always look at this time, uh, this is more like a comment. Look at this time where you're a grandpa or double grandpa and you have your grandkids saying, uh, I mean, re replying to you when you tell them, yeah, I was doing CubeSats and small sats, <laughs> and they would tell you, yeah, Grandpa, we know. We, we sent one last Sunday on the free launch of Space Y, as usual. We bought the parts at Whole Foods. So that's for the California guys. So 
you never know what's going to happen in the future. Right? Everything's going to be easier for the next generation. So, I think that you know that I think that generally we are we have the changing in the generation of the people about thinking about small satellites. If you ask people in the ESA ten years ago that maybe you start should build so small satellites, they just looking for you just like the, the child. Yeah. The small satellite, there is no money there. So why we should build small satellites? Uh, but now the market pressing uh, is so high that ESA just thinking about the small satellite because this is the solution. All right, yeah. This is the solution, and this is why these people who are here just will be building the satellite. Yeah. So this, this is the last talk of the workshop, and then we'll have uh, work groups this afternoon. So big thank you, Marcin. Thank you very much. <laughs>